So with that, we're at the closing comments. We've kind of exhausted this thing, at least at this level right now. Yeah. And um, I really wish we had like three more hours to break down some of these other words much more intimately mm -hmm. and get into um, the real, even deeper implications of some of these texts. But, you know, we are talking in a lot of cases to an audience that has never seen this before. And, you know, we don't want to go too crazy, mm -hmm. you know, but this just gives you a taste of how deep the rabbit hole goes. Mm -hmm. So you got the floor. This milk. Praise Yahweh. Um, it was uh, went a years ago. This is what he showed me um, yesterday morning. While we are talking about the subject, what we're talking about today. Um, I was in the cell and I was reading in the book of Exodus. And I guess I, I felt like in a, I don't know if I went to sleep or what, but whatever it was I dreamed, I didn't remember what the dream was. Mm -hmm. And I woke up because they were calling mail, mail call. Mm -hmm. And when I got the mail and opened it up, it was the Ten Commandments in it. Mm -hmm. And I just began to read, but for me, that was the starting of my journey. I had to learn the law. He had took me out of my spiritual Egypt, but I thought I was still in Egypt because I'm in jail. So I'm still thinking I'm still in the same condition, but I'm not seeing that he's leading me out to a place where to be taught by him. And there's no way I could perceive that. It's somebody out here, out there that we're talking to. You know, I hope it's more than one somebody but it's somebody that was saying that had that same thought process that I had years ago. Whatever it takes, I'm all in. And that's, that's, that's the word that I'm giving out. If somebody just say that along with me this morning, that's listening to this discussion that we having, whatever it takes, I'm all in. And it starts by letting Yahweh lead you to a place that he can teach you follow him into this wilderness and begin to see his works just look back right, right, i right. look back Amen. and see his works in my mm -hmm. life yes i'm tested every day yes i'm tested with my health yes i'm tested with my faith but whatever it takes to endure this test i want to be all in for it because i want to endure to the end he that endured to the end that's the one that's the one that's going to get this crown. That's the one that's going to hear the words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. I'm all in till I can hear those words. I'm all in. I'm determined. I'm fully determined to run this course. Whatever it is he's building in me, that it can reach out and touch somebody, even in your weakest moments where I was. Whether you say you say the unsaved, whether you say you know something or you don't know something, just stop for a moment like we don't know nothing. Let's start being taught by the Ruach. That's my, that's my closing comments. That's my thoughts today. And I just want to, as always, praise Yahweh. Thank him for the brother John here. I really thank him for John. John has been so instrumental on my walk, on my journey. He's been there. Uh, he probably don't know how close he's been in in my life because of the distance but we talk and and but he's really has been instrumental i just want to thank him for opening up his home for just ha not not giving up he's really laboring putting all this together in in the support of his wife amanda I i'm so blessed just to just to have known you guys and for you to open up your home and allow me in. And um, as always, Sharon Avarez is a blessing. And we pray Yahweh's uh, anointing and blessing be upon her at all times. You know, and I just bless him. And that's my comment. That's my closing. Praise Yahweh. Uh, thank you for the, the comments. And it's, it's mutual. Uh, I don't think you realize how many times you inspire me and... In a number of ways usually when i'm like real silent and you're running your mouth mm -hmm. i'm soaking up like a sponge a bunch of stuff and i'm like i don't think you say it but i say it to you back i don't think anthony quite understand 
what he's saying to me right now, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. So I have to be quiet because I know I'm supposed to listen. A command. Yes. A command through through an My. unlikely source sometimes. Yes, yes. As we talked about last time. Yes. Um, yeah, so in closing on this, Gentiles and Christians got to make some serious decisions. Oh, yeah. You said it, I think, the last time. I don't have a lot of time left. Mm -hmm. And I've got things that I got to get done. Because mm -hmm. when I get out of here, I want to know that I'm not being called out, that I didn't do everything I was supposed to do. Yes. Um, and for the Christians and the Gentiles out there, I'm pleading with you to take an honest look if you claim that Yahweh is has called you to a faith yes and there are a lot of people that he has called to a faith and they've been sidetracked into a wrong faith yes and don't revoke the calling yes for you guys yes listen go before the throne of Yahweh and say listen oh, yes. I know I call him this and that God, Jesus, Lord, blah, blah, blah. Yes. But what these two fellows are talking about, how can I know that they're on the up and up or they're not on the up and up? Open the eyes of the and eyes. I put you to the test. He tells us many times in Scripture, yes, put me to the test. Yes. See if I won't do this. Yes, Father. Put your damn faith on the line and challenge your belief. Oh, yes, Father. And ask Yahweh to prove one way or the other, it's this way or it's that way. And if it's this way that these two fellows are talking about, then I don't know how to do that. And that's okay. Oh, yeah. yes. But you show me, Abba, how to go that way. Oh, and yes. whoever you put me into the path of to teach me this way, yes. make sure you don't put me into a path of one of these false teachers, even in this faith, because we got them over here too. Oh, yes. And you protect me and you guide me through that process because I'm going through a forest that I've never seen before and I don't know the way in and I don't know the way out. Yes. That's my plea to you. If you're really honest with yourself, you'll do that. And if you're not, there's nothing more I can really say for you. Thank so you. with that being said, I want to thank you for watching. You have been watching Through the Eyes of the Elder discussions. And until the next time when we have a different topic, uh, We'll see you again, and we thank you very much. Shalom.